All right, welcome back to another video, guys. Today, we are gonna go over how to make your own ghost notes in Logic Pro X. I know it's pretty frustrating. FL Studio has their own ghost note system, and it's honestly much easier than that. But there is a way to get them into Logic Pro, and it is crucial if you don't know your music theory. So let's... Get right into it. First, you're going to start by creating a MIDI region. Drag it out to four bars. And then you're going to want to loop the fifth bar through the eighth bar. And then you're going to loop, also loop your MIDI region to that area right there, to the fifth of the eighth. Double click. And then you're going to want to, it might start down here. You're going to want to drag your piano roll up. Actually, first, hold up. Okay. Um, what we're going to do is we're grabbing our pencil tool and we're going to draw in a note on each of these. Key okay, hold on. Let me zoom in a little bit here. A little finicky sometimes. Um, through the fourth bar, you're going to have you're going to put a note on every one of these keys. Let me zoom in a bit more so I can just get them perfectly every time. There we go. Just every one of these keys. And what I find, oh, and to do this as well, you, you just go option and then click, or command and then click, sorry. You could also, after you get to there, you could just go, you could just copy everything by doing that, or you could go command A that will also copy everything. Then you hold Option or Alt, and then you drag, and then just drop on the next set of notes. This is probably the best way to do it. Again, just do Option, drag. Also, like, I've seen a lot of tutorials on YouTube or like not tutorials, but people are giving away like their ghost note packs for Logic Pro for free, but like they don't give you all the scales that are like necessary in my opinion, like the good ones. So I don't think those ones are worth it. I'd rather just make my own. I figured this out not too recently and it has been a game changer for just making music. Okay, almost done here. And then you can also make these whatever color you want. More there. Okay. All right. So we got this now. Every one, every box is, or every note is filled in. My bad. Every note is filled in. And personally, I like, I don't like green. So I'm going to go with like purple because I think purple is kind of dope. We are going to mute this track. And then you're going to, so. Let's say this wasn't selected. Let's just say it was like that. You'd want to go Command A. And then you can legit pick any scale you want. Let's say I want harmonic for like trap. I have a G harmonic minor now. I can go E harmonic minor, change. C harmonic minor, you could go natural minor, major scale. Look at this, you got Dorian, you got Lydian, whatever that's called. <laughs> um, Japanese, I, I don't even know what these ones are. I kinda wanna, kinda wanna try them to be honest. But it's really just crucial to get this if you're in Logic Pro X. Um, I don't know why they haven't like caught on to like the ghost notes in Logic yet, but this is like the best fix for it if you don't know how to do it. Um, also, well, we're going to make a little melody just to like show you how it works. So you, you want to mute this track. If you don't, it's going to make sound. You can't hear it right there, but I'll, I'll show you. Actually, I don't have an instrument loaded up. That's why I didn't make sound, but that's fine. Um, actually, before we do this, 
So you want to mute this. What I would do is I would make, I would save this as a template. Title it YouTube Ghost Notes. I already have a template made, but I'm just showing you. And then legit just save it. And then you'll come, if you want a new template, you'll come to new template. You've got a new template up here. And then it will bring you to like your template like windows and then you can just choose which one you want and it'll go, it'll go right back to this immediately. So that's what I do for almost every one of my projects since I'm not, I don't really know a lot of music theory other than like, I'm more of a, p or a piano roll click producer, I'd say. So unmute this, I'll just show you how it's done. You're gonna grab, let's just go with a lab soft piano, this one's really nice. And, oh, I gotta meet, solo it first. Nice soft piano. Put some of the reverb up. Okay. What you wanna do is create another MIDI region here. MIDI region. And then you have to highlight both the tracks. And you're gonna notice, so you're gonna wanna scroll over a little bit. You're gonna notice that every one of these notes is highlighted after you loop it. So the loop, so what the blue notes you're seeing right here is the looped part of the track up top. So we're gonna find our root note. Let's see, what do we have it on? Was it F major? Let's go with like a natural minor D or something. Okay, so go to like C3, so C, D. Start right here. On the root note. I know it's a little long, so you want to shorten it. But all you do from here, turn up the velocity. So you're gonna to make like a chord, skip one blue one, go up the next one, skip another one, go up the next one. Pretty cool, right? It's so much easier if than just guessing to where to put the notes. And then you got a little melody going here. It's corny, but you could do you can do some pretty crazy stuff with it. Copy that note over. I'm just gonna try something here. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And then you could to do this, just do shift, click, and to copy all like notes. And then so we're on D, so we're just gonna drag it down an octave. So right here. So we got some bass notes now. And then you can just add, like you can keep going up if you wanted to. Like a more full note. And then you can just do you make a little melody on top or a little counter melody. Showing you what you can do. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you learned something today. This was like one of my most frustrating things in Logic when I first got it, and I didn't know how to like do anything about it, honestly. And there was no good YouTube videos on it, so I felt like this is, this is just a good video to make for you guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, leave a like, and then comment on any questions you have about Logic, and I can try to give you an answer. Um, have a good one. Peace out.